First of all, uh, Mike, Mickey was quite uh, uh, happy to let it be known that he's had surgery to the public. Um, and the idea came around the fact that uh, if he's happy to do that, why not uh, show the operation? Because I noticed patients nowadays are, are very educated on the subject. They, when they come in for consultation, they ask a lot of detailed questions because they've read a lot about it or they've watched YouTube videos, etc. And I thought it'll be a really helpful thing for them to watch Surgery Live. It'd be quite a good educational tool for these patients so that, uh, you know, a lot of the unknown, a lot of the mystery about how it's done can, can be shown. And they'll have the opportunity there and then to ask uh, any questions they like, not just from me, but from the patient as well. Uh, well, we are doing surgery on Mickey, who is going to come in on the day and we would uh, draw design the hairline he's going to have, advance it forward and a little bit wider, like I discussed with my consultation. And then after that, we prepare the back of his scalp, uh, where the hair is coming from, uh, give the anesthetic, remove the donor hair. The hair then moves to a technical area where it's being dissected under microscopes into tiny one millimeter grafts. And then once the grafts are ready, we transfer them into the, uh, the hairline. Uh, controlling angles, directions, etc. And then the hair should start to grow in about three months and this time next year he should have a good result. This particular operation I anticipate is going to take us, well normally it takes about five or six hours. It may take a little bit longer because cameras and, and, and all that, but it's probably about six hours. But the time surgery takes really depends on how many hairs or how many grafts we are transferring in that operation. I think normally patients feel quite comfortable. The only discomfort they'll find is when I'm applying the local anaesthetic. It's a bit like a dentist type injection. But they also have a mild sedative, so they're a bit more relaxed because most people are just naturally a little bit anxious at the beginning. So normally they're kind of maybe uh, relaxed or, or sedated. They may, may, they may even fall asleep. But I expect Mickey probably will not fall asleep, mainly because he's He's aware of all the attention to him and people communicate with him and the cameras, etc. So I expect he'll be quite happy uh, answering questions uh, and maybe even uh, tweeting back to uh, his uh, fan base. Like everything else, everything moves, moves forward. And now in the last several years, we've taken another giant step really with the, with the concept of follicular unit grafting that's made the surgery even more natural, be able to achieve uh, more commonly achieve a complete result after one operation, being able to transfer thousands and thousands of hairs in, 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 in the one operation. Um, and you couple that with the more media attention, the, the internet providing lots of information, and, and more people are comfortable with the f uh, saying about themselves that they've changed something about themselves. All that uh, ha has brought it much more to the public eye. First of all, I would advise people to do plenty of research uh, about the reasons why they're losing their hair. Um, make sure they constant. They make sure they also uh, look into maintaining their hair as well as the surgery. Uh, and finally, maybe see and get advice from as many people as possible before you make any decision.